love deflecting the blame. And a lot of people think only conservatives deflect the blame, but they don't. Liberals do it too, right? Liberals do it with racism. That's what they've done it with. There was a point in this country where we were trying to make racism a mental illness. Did you guys know that? Yeah. We were trying to make racism a mental illness, which would mean that hate crimes would get the insanity plea. The devil made me kill them Mexicans. Time out. The point of the devil is to punish people with shitty values like racism and listening to John Mayer too much. <laughs> Plus, the devil is an immigrant on this plane of existence. So why would he vote against his own self-interest? <laughs> It's not considered uh, a mental illness, right? The DSM refuses to consider it a mental illness because it takes accountability away from the behavior, and that's important. We need to put accountability on that behavior. Yeah, because there is no magic cure for racism, right? There's no pill you can take or vaccine you can get. You're never gonna hear somebody be like, watch out for Riddell, man. Yeah, he's got a bad case of the racisms this week. <laughs> yeah, dropping M-bombs just like Obama, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to take him down to the library, read him up some Civil War books, see if that doesn't calm him down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think what's happening in this country is a whole lot of silencing, right? Both sides do it, liberals and conservatives. Words you can't say, ideas you can't express, that's not a solution to the problem. Calling someone a racist is not a solution to the problem. And go ahead, call them a racist. See if they want to hold on to that label. They'll get defensive real fucking fast, right? I ain't no fucking racist, all right? Just because I don't think black people should vote, okay? And Mexicans, they're just stealing all the jobs, right? And Jews, they ain't even like people, right? They're like a mix of black magic and the earth. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm fucking racist. It means I'm a goddamn realist. Okay, listen, I'm gonna get you like a dictionary for your birthday, right? And just like a bunch of encyclopedias for Christmas and just a parade of history textbooks for our birthday. And then you can just build a wall of education around yourself. <laughs> the problem is we're not talking to each other anymore, right? And I'm part of that problem, too. I haven't gone up to a racist and asked him why he hates the Mexicans. And if his response is, well, my pappy told me to, well, that's not a good enough response. You should probably ask your pappy why he hates the Mexicans. And if his response is that his pappy told him to, well, fuck, now we're going down this weird, boring spiral of hate and misunderstanding. It's like a snake trying to eat and hate itself at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, but these racists haven't talked to these Mexicans either, right? And if we talk to each other, we might find out that the things we hate so much contribute to things we love so dearly. Yeah, like if you love tacos but hate Mexicans, <laughs> there is a problem. You're either gonna have to start talking to Mexicans or Stop eating tacos. And tacos are harder to quit than cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's up to us though. We need to start educating the ignorant a little bit more. But society is far too complacent with its own ignorance. We get a lot of our information from 140 characters in memes and we think we know everything. Yeah, that's like going into the library looking at a book on a shelf and thinking you know the whole story, right? Tale of two cities. Nailed it. <laughs> but no, you didn't even take it off the shelf. There's like characters and, and a plot and emotions and 437 pages. God damn it, Carl, all right? It's about two cities. One of them's got a tail. Nobody likes that shit. It's weird. Nailed it. Next book. <laughs> yeah. Immigration's one of these things that we're very ignorant about, right? Yeah, we just don't understand it. Yeah. It's what, everybody thinks it's very easy to come into this country, but it's not, it's very difficult. You have to be sponsored to come here, pay $10,000, and then you have to buy a plane ticket and fly over. You have to, you have to fly over. Seriously, I can't stress this <laughs> enough. You have to fly. Their Ellis Island is shut down and boat travel has been ruined by the Titanic. <laughs> and then when you land, you have to play Red Rover with all the TSA agents, and those are large men for an eight-year-old to try to go through. 
<laughs> but Can we do fly love. United, Chris? Can I fly United? I'm not gonna fly United. Okay. I hate flying in general because I, I don't think we should be taking skies away from birds. They claim that territory. <laughs> and it's just fucking disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. we, do like, uh, we do like deflecting the blame on immigrants, right? And a lot of people like to blame the South for being, uh, being very angry towards immigrants, but it's all over the country. The rhetoric towards immigration is the same no matter where you go, east, west, north, south, wherever it is, I hear the same thing. Well, they fucking came in here and they stole all the jobs, man. They stole all the jobs. Uh, stole? <laughs> yeah, man, my buddy Dale, right, he was working on some spreadsheets, went to the bathroom, take a piss, came back, immigrant stole his fucking job. <laughs> Now he's just making spreadsheets at the bus stop. <laughs> okay, is that more stole or Dale doesn't understand the concept of spreadsheets? Because those are two different things, right? I hear this a lot. People will come up to me and they go, well, it's America, man. You gotta love it or leave it. It is America! You gotta love it or leave it. But those are my only two options. <laughs> what if I just want to like America as a friend? We just met, trying out this long distance thing. And here's the thing, America, I'm from India. I've met your mom. <laughs> Sometimes she still thinks she's our mom, right? Putting curfews on us, telling us to clean up our room, despite the fact that she's the one that fucked up our room in the first place. What I'm trying to say, America, is I think you're turning into your mom a little bit, and that is gonna be a real deal breaker for me. I got a little bit too real for some of you guys, I think. Yeah. I think we have a very aggressive way of dealing with immigration in this country, don't we? Very aggressive. You bring up the idea of immigration reform and people freak the fuck out. Yeah. Look at you and they go, well, it's, free, it's free citizenship, all right? It's buy two, get one free. That's what they do. Okay? They're bringing drugs into this country and giving it to our kids and turn them all into atheists. <laughs> they got these super strong babies throwing anchors into our buildings using the metric system. <laughs> We make such a big fuss over the idea of borders, and borders don't do anything except turn this world into a fucked up jigsaw puzzle, and you don't even get to see a horse at the end of it. Yeah. But here's the truth of it all. We're all immigrants, right? We're all immigrants. Yeah, and I'm not talking about the Mayflower kind of immigrant. I'm talking about every single life on this planet is an immigrant. Yeah, we rode in on some comet, crash landed here. <laughs> Yeah, and the primordial ooze that we crawled out of is the real melting pot. And then we made something of ourselves. Literally something, like flora and fauna. Yeah. Our blood has hemoglobin, which has iron, from a star that blew up billions of light years away from us. And this is what we're gonna argue about? If that star finds out we're arguing over imaginary lines drawn on a piece of paper, we're all fucked. <laughs> we're just cosmic immigrants, right? We work so hard to get to this right here, to build all of this and to get to this moment right here. So why argue over some social trivial bullshit? I think what we need to start doing, yeah. I think what we need to start doing is loving and hugging every single immigrant on this planet. And historically speaking, that is the thought that's gonna get me shot one day. <laughs> My girlfriend hates that joke. <laughs> yeah, human beings don't like being told who to love. <laughs>